Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to History at War. We are very glad to have you here. Today we embark on a journey through history to explore some of the most intriguing aspects of World War II. Today, we delve into the chilling history of the 3rd SS Totenkopf Division, renowned as one of the most notorious and brutal divisions of the war. We kick off our journey by tracing the origins of the 3rd SS Totenkopf. This elite division was part of the larger Waffen SS, the combat branch of the Schutzstaffel SS, which was the paramilitary organization of Nazi Germany. We delve into the historical context surrounding the formation of the 3rd SS Totenkopf and explore its early recruits and leadership. The SS Division Totenkopf was established in October 1939. What is interesting is that they drew its ranks from all different camp guards belonging to the 1st, Oberbayern, 2nd, Brandenburg, and 3rd, Thuringen, Standarten of the SS Totenkopfverbande. Additionally, soldiers from the SS Heimwehr Danzig joined their ranks. Many of the division's officers hailed from the SS Verfugungstruppe, SSVT, and had already seen action during the Polish campaign. Under the command of SS Obergruppenführer Theodor Eicke, they brought valuable experience to the front lines. Throughout the French campaign, Totenkopf participated in several engagements. In the northeastern region of Cambrai, the division captured 16,000 French prisoners. However, while attempting to advance towards the coast, they encountered a formidable combined British and French force that proved challenging to halt. Totenkopf narrowly avoided panic by employing their artillery against enemy tanks and were ultimately saved by the intervention of Luftwaffe dive bombers. Subsequently, the division endured heavy losses during the capture of the La Basse Canal. They also faced fierce resistance in Bethune and Le Paradis. The French surrender found Totenkopf located near the Spanish border, where it was to stay, resting and refitting, until April 1941. Totenkopf had suffered heavy losses during the campaign, but they still showed fierce resilience and combat effectiveness in France. Over 300 officers were killed or missing. Replacement personnel was supplied, this time via regular Waffen-SS recruitment, as opposed to coming from the camps. Flak and artillery battalions were added to its strength. Local vehicles were also commandeered from the French. Many of the division's soft-skinned transport during Barbarossa was of French origin. In April 1941, the division received orders to join Generalfeldmarschall Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb's Army Group North as they embarked on their journey eastward towards Leningrad. Tasked with breaching the formidable Stalin line, the 3rd SS Totenkopf Division saw intense combat in Lithuania and Latvia. By July, their relentless drive had shattered the defenses, allowing them to push forward, inching closer to their ultimate objective, Leningrad. As the division advanced past Demjansk, their resolve would be tested in a series of fierce engagements. From the 31st of July to the 25th of August, Totenkopf found themselves embroiled in heavy fighting near Leningrad, where both sides fought with unwavering determination. Day after day, the soldiers of Totenkopf pressed forward, overcoming enemy resistance, navigating treacherous urban environments, and enduring harsh conditions. The battle for Leningrad became a grueling test of their mettle, as they fought to break through the Soviet defenses and capture key objectives. During the autumn and winter of 1941, the Soviets launched multiple operations against the German lines in the northern sector of the front. One of these operations resulted in the encirclement of the division near Demjansk, creating the Demjansk Pocket. Totenkopf suffered heavy losses in these battles and was subsequently renamed Kampfgruppe Eike due to its reduced size. The division fought fiercely to defend the pocket, with SS Hauptsturmführer Erwin Meyerdress leading a small group of soldiers in holding the strategic town of Byakowo against repeated enemy attempts to capture it. Meyerdress personally destroyed several enemy tanks in his Stug 3 and was awarded the Iron Cross for his actions. In April 1942, the division broke out of the pocket and reached friendly territory. At Demjansk, around 80% of the division's soldiers were killed, wounded, or missing in action. The remaining troops were withdrawn from the front line in late October 1942 and sent to France for refitting. In November 1942, the division participated in Case Anton, the takeover of Vichy France, with the addition of a Panzer Battalion, and was renamed 3. SS Panzer Grenadier Division, Totenkopf. 
The division remained in France until February 1943, when their previous commander, Theodore Eicke, resumed control. In early February 1943, Totenkopf Division moved to the Eastern Front as part of Erich von Manstein's Army Group South. They participated in the Third Battle of Kharkov, where Theodore Eicke, their commander, was killed when his transport plane was shot down on the front line. The division was sent to secure the crash site immediately, and they then buried him with military honors, with Hermann Priest taking over as the new commander. Later, Totenkopf, as part of the SS Panzer Corps, joined Operation Citadel, the offensive to reduce the Kursk salient. They received a company of Tiger I heavy tanks and advanced alongside the Leibstandarte, encountering Soviet resistance but continuing the advance. On July 5, 1943, the attack began with Totenkopf covering the left flank of the 2nd SS Panzer Corps. They crossed the Sel River and aimed to reach Prokhorovka. However, the attack was slowed by Soviet resistance, particularly at Hill 226.6. Despite this setback, the division continued to advance, and elements of the division crossed the Sel River. On July 11th, reinforcements arrived to secure the tenuous position, and the division expanded the bridgehead. They faced strong Soviet opposition, but managed to hold their ground. On July 12th, a major counterattack was launched by the Soviets, and Totenkopf's forces, supported by their Tiger Company, engaged in intense combat, halting the assault, but suffering significant losses. Although the 2nd SS Panzer Corps had stopped the Soviet counteroffensive, it was exhausted and unable to launch further attacks. The reserve 24th Panzer Corps was not authorized by Hitler. On July 14th, Hitler called off the operation, and the Battle of Kursk was now over for the Germans. Totenkopf Division, along with Das Reich, was assigned to the reformed 6th Army under General der Infanterie Karl Adolf Hollett. Their objective was to eliminate the Soviet bridgehead over the Meuse River. Over the course of several weeks, Totenkopf faced heavy fighting. They were fought with such brutality, particularly during the battles for Hill 213 and Stepanowka. However, the division suffered significant losses, surpassing those experienced during Operation Citadel. When the Soviet bridgehead was finally eliminated, the division lost 1,500 soldiers, and their panzer regiment was reduced to 20 tanks. Afterward, Totenkopf was moved back to Kharkov to participate in battles against Operation Rumyantsev and prevent the Soviet capture of the city. Although the divisions managed to halt the offensive and inflict heavy casualties, the Soviets outflanked them, leading to the abandonment of the city on August 23rd. In early September, Totenkopf reached the Dnieper River. They faced the Soviet 5th Guards tank army, which had crossed at Kremenchug and posed a threat to break through the Dnieper line. Totenkopf was deployed to counter the bridgehead. In October 1943, the division was reformed as the 3rd SS Panzer Division Totenkopf. The Panzer Abteilung became an upgraded regiment, and the two Panzer Grenadier regiments were given the honorary titles Theodore Eicke and Totenkopf. After holding the Kremenchug bridgehead for several months, the Soviets launched a successful breakout, pushing Totenkopf and other Axis divisions back toward the Romanian border. In November, Totenkopf engaged in serious, intense defensive battles with extremely brutal combat against Red Army attacks near the crucial town of Krivoy Rog to the west of the Dnieper. In January 1944, Totenkopf was engaged in heavy defensive fighting near Krivoy Rog, preventing a breakthrough by the Soviets. In February, the division was sent to assist in the relief efforts for the trapped German troops in the Korsun pocket. They attacked towards Korsun and successfully linked up with the encircled forces. After a fierce battle near Kirovograd in March, Totenkopf fell back behind the Bug River and established new defensive positions. Following heavy fighting alongside Panzergrenadier Division Grossdeutschland, they withdrew to the Dniester on the Romanian border near Iasi. In April, Totenkopf rested near Targu Frumos in Romania, receiving replacements and new equipment. They returned to action as Soviet attacks intensified. In a battle near Iasi, Totenkopf, along with elements of Panzer Grenadier Division Grossdeutschland, successfully halted a Red Army armored assault. In July, Totenkopf joined SS Obergruppenführer Herbert Gill's I-4 SS Panzer Corps near Grodno, Poland, to defend the approaches to Warsaw. The division arrived at the Warsaw Front in late July 1944. During the Warsaw Uprising by the Polish Home Army, Totenkopf guarded the front lines and repelled Soviet probing attacks. 
In mid-August near Modlin, Totenkopf alongside 5th SS Panzer Division Viking and Hermann Göring Panzer Division decisively defeated the Soviet 3rd Tank Corps. Their effective use of terrain and superior optics allowed them to outmatch Soviet tanks. The Totenkopf, Viking, and Hermann Göring divisions played a crucial role in holding the Vistula line and establishing Army Group Vistula. In December 1944, the 4th SS Panzer Corps was ordered to relieve the trapped 9th SS Mountain Corps in Budapest. They launched Operation Conrad, with Conrad I being the first attack on New Year's Day 1945. Despite initial gains, heavy Soviet opposition hindered their progress. After the failure of Conrad I, Totenkopf and Wiking launched Operation Conrad II, aiming to reach the city center. They made significant progress, but were ordered to fall back as part of a ruse. Operation Conrad III aimed to encircle Soviet units, but fell short of achieving its goal. The 9th SS Mountain Corps eventually surrendered in mid-February. The division withdrew to the west, participating in the fighting withdrawal from Budapest to the area near Lake Balaton. They provided flank support during Operation Frühlingserwachen, but faced heavy engagement as the offensive stalled. The Vienna offensive by the Soviets encircled Totenkopf and Wiking. To prevent complete encirclement, the 9th SS Panzer Division Hohenstaufen fought to hold open the Berhida Corridor while Gill's Corps escaped. However, subsequent Soviet attacks pushed the 4th SS Panzer Corps back towards Vienna, losing contact with neighboring divisions and abandoning organized defense. The remnants of Totenkopf conducted a fighting withdrawal into Czechoslovakia and surrendered to American forces in early May. They were subsequently handed over to the Soviets, and many Totenkopf soldiers perished in Soviet gulags. After the war, the 3rd SS Division, Totenkopf, was disbanded, and many members were captured by Allied forces as prisoners of war. Survivors faced legal consequences for war crimes. Some escaped capture, going into hiding or joining underground movements. Reintegration into society was difficult due to suspicion and condemnation. The division's notorious involvement in war crimes has left a legacy of disgrace and condemnation for the Totenkopf. Also, our video on the 3rd SS Division is purely educational and historical. It does not endorse or promote Nazi ideology, war crimes, or atrocities. Our goal is to provide factual information about the division's role in World War II. Remembering history has never been so important, and we are very happy to share what we have with you guys. Anyway, we hope you have enjoyed this. The full timeline and battles of the 3rd SS Totenkopf, a very fascinating part of history. Our Patreon and Instagram are linked below. Remember to check out other videos too. We will see you guys soon.